You ready? Yeah. Is that a good smile for you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Here's a pretty uh, not so common problem that freaks people out when they see it because as you can see, it looks pretty aggressive and pretty horrible, but this is called an orange slime mold. And you can see it's covering this entire section of the tree. You can see this clear substance dripping down, it's dripping on me right now. And what it is, is it's an orange slime mold. And believe it or not, it's actually not harmful to the tree at all. It just has a, a, the perfect conditions have, have developed if you look up here in the top of this tree, the tree's got an injury in it. Uh, and what I mean by an injury, there's a, there's, a, there's a cut or a break of some sort. It could be from a bird, it could be from anything. But now that the tree's trying to come out of dormancy, we're here in the spring, and then all of the sap is pulling up to the trees, getting ready to green up. Well, the sap is full of a bunch of sugars and carbohydrates. And as that sap starts weeping through the injured section of the tree, it gets bacteria on it and that bacteria feeds on all the, the sugars and the carbs in the uh, in the sap. It develops this orange slime mold and it starts just oozing and dripping down the tree. And it looks horrible. It'll make you think your tree's gonna die or something bad's going on with it. When in all reality, um, you, we've got these huge temperature swings between the nighttime uh, lows and the daytime highs. And that's just perfect for fungus. Just like in your grass, the same thing applies for these trees as well. As soon as it warms up a little bit, or we don't have quite as much moisture in the environment, this is going to go away. You don't need to do anything to it. It's not harmful to the tree. Uh, if it's sat here for like months on end, it could be harmful for the tree, but if it's very unsightly, so if it bothers you, you can hose it off the water hose. The reality of that situation is though, is as long as it's seeping sap through that area and the right environmental conditions exist, you're gonna still get this orange slime mold. So what we recommend is just to kind of leave it be, let the conditions go ahead and improve. Then you can just hose it off with the water hose. Don't be surprised if it leaves a little orange tint or, or a little hue, if you will, uh, behind, but that'll just grow out. The, the bark will shed off or it'll just kind of go away with time. So if you see this in your trees, uh, you might see it developing in the landscape down at the base of the trees. It's just where that sap will, it'll, it'll drip and it'll fall into the ground and then the, the slime mold will develop on the ground as well. But that's the problem, that's what's causing it. You ultimately don't have to do anything with it. You can clean it up if you want to, but there is not gonna uh, be any long-term damage to the tree and you don't need to worry about it and there's no immediate action that needs to be taken. So, hope that helps. If you got any questions, let us know. Y'all have a good day.